Yo, what's going on guys? It's right back again here bringing another Walking Dead video. So this time I'm going to be doing a video discussing uh, the topic of who are the best survivors among the characters in the Walking Dead TV show. Now this does not pertain to the comic book because the comic book characters are different than the TV show characters in a lot of different ways. So just pertains to the TV show. So this is going to be a top five list. Um, I've gone through all the characters pretty much in the show and uh, made up a list. Um, before we get into the actual top five, we will go over some honorable mentions for people that, you know, have a decent ability to survive. Um, the first one's going to be Dale. Um, now, the reason why he's not in the, in the top five is because uh, he's just simply too old. Uh, he doesn't have the athleticism anymore to, to really survive. I mean, you know, he, he, and he knows that, too, like in the... Uh, the last episode or you know he's telling basically saying Shane you know I don't have I might not have what it takes to survive for long because he understands that he's older and this is kind of uh, you know the, the situation they're in the world they're in is you know not a nice place for people who aren't don't have the ability to run very quickly and uh, aren't athletic it's just the fact of the matter so he's not on it uh, T-Dog also is not on it because even though T-Dog is decent he's not a great uh, fighter I mean Merle handed his ass to him pretty easily and uh, you know he's clumsy like when he got scared by the zombies in the highway he slips falls and cuts his arm on the car um, so his ability to survive is not great you know just because of his clumsiness and his ability to not really defend himself too well um, then of course we've got like uh, you know people like Lori obviously she's not gonna make the list because well she doesn't do anything really she just sits around and takes care of Carl that's basically it um, Merle because he's crazy um, Amy of course uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, Herschel because again he's just he's too old he can farm and he has the ability to get food but in terms of surviving and stuff he doesn't really he can't really cope with it so uh, there's pretty much four points that you know I take into consideration when I was making this list um, the first one is uh, you know when it comes to survival the ability to avoid or fight off zombies so the ability to you know if, if you get one on one with a zombie like for example um, Andrew when she was in the RV and she uh, had the, one of the best kills of the whole season with the, uh, the screwdriver um, you know, that was, uh, you know, a good example of, you know, fighting off a zombie or zombies. Rick with the rock is another one. Uh, or avoiding them. I mean, you don't always have to fight them. For example, a guy like Glenn, uh, we know, you know, he uh, basically, he doesn't fight any of them, except for when he has to, like when he had to defend Maggie that one time, but he usually avoids them. So that's the first category, is ability to avoid slash fight off zombies. The second category is ability to find food and uh, necessities. So, you know, this is a huge consideration because obviously the characters need to be able to, to find food for themselves or for the group that they're with. And uh, certain characters are better at that than others. Um, it's just the way it is because obviously food is a necessity and it's, uh, you know, in this kind of situation, it's, uh, it's hard to come by sometimes. Um, and, you know, the characters have run out of food a couple times in the show. Number three will be the ability to survive other people. Now this one is a really, really big one, maybe the most important, because other people are even more dangerous in this world than the zombies are in a lot of ways. You know, um, especially if they have guns, especially if they're, if they're desperate for food, you know, they can be extremely dangerous. So ability to survive other people is number three. And the last category is ability to avoid uh, suicide and keep up the will to live. So, for example, we started to see characters where, you know, uh, the family members are dying off, like um, Andrew, for example, and, uh, you know, have lost the will to live, which is a big thing, you know. And, uh, you know, with guns around and stuff like that, you could be, suicide is a huge thing. So, you know, obviously, if someone's suicidal, their ability to survive is pretty crappy. Okay, so that's the preface, guys. Let's get into the actual list itself. So, uh, we'll start off with number five. It's the only female on the list. Um, it's Andrea. Okay, so you know Andrea's ability to survive. She's excellent with uh, with the firearm. Okay, so in terms of fighting off zombies and you know like you saw with the screwdriver kill, that was pretty awesome. I don't think any other female in the entire show would have been able to, you know, in that situation would have been able to fight off that zombie inside the RV, and you know, you know make make it out okay. You know, every other female, I can't I can't really see Lori doing that. I can't really see, um, you know hardly any of the other females in the show being able to get through that. I just I just can't see it. Obviously, Amy wasn't able to, you know, so um, that's why, you know, Andrew is able to fight, she's able to shoot, uh, and she's not stupid either. She's not too stupid to the point where she's not able to find food, she's not able to do things like that. Um, and her ability to survive other people, I mean, if you saw her, would you kill her? I wouldn't. That's all I gotta say about that. Um, and, you know, also, too, she's a pretty, uh, you know, she's, she's, she's pretty good at... Um, you know, at socializing and, uh, you know, being social with other people and stuff and making allies. allies. Um, 
And then the part that she suffers, and this is why she's number five, is pretty much her ability to avoid suicide. Because as you can see in the show already, she's considered suicide on multiple occasions. And uh, she's even attempted it uh, once, although Dale was able to talk some sense in her and talk her out of it. So that's why she's not higher on the list is because she is a little suicidal. The other reason, too, is that uh, she is a female, so she's probably not going to be as good. I mean, if she's got a screwdriver, she'll be okay. But if she didn't, you know, with her, like, you know, hand-to-hand -hand against a zombie or two, you know, she's not going to do as well as, uh, you know, one of the other characters, like the male counterparts on the show. Um, so, yeah, that's number five, Andrea. Number four is going to be uh, Glenn. So, obviously, Glenn, he doesn't really fight zombies too much. Uh, most of the time, he tries to avoid them, and he's the best out of everybody at doing that. Um, so his ability to survive in that capacity is, is excellent. Um, when he has to fight them off, like, for example, when he was with Maggie inside that store, and he used the shelf to, to smash it up, and then, you know, he... He used that um, that uh, knife he had, or whatever that was, um, you know, uh, tool. And then, you know, his ability to find food and uh, in necessities is is the best out of any character. So that's why it pretty much puts him in number four. His ability to survive other people, I don't think is that great. I think it's I think it's okay, um, you know, but it's not not fantastic, you know, because he is kind of a nice guy. He's kind of a kind-hearted guy. He went out of his way to save Rick, and you know, and so so he's nice, and that that could, that could work against him in certain situations. Uh, number four is the the ability to avoid suicide. So he's not really suicidal. He's the type of guy who's kind of melancholy. He doesn't really get too emotional about many things. So say, that being said, you know, I mean, I don't think he's suicidal at all. Even if he was on his own, I don't really think he would be suicidal at all. Um, you know, he would just do anything he could to survive. So he's going to be number four. Number three is going to be uh, probably somebody you guys thought would be higher. It's going to be Rick. Um... And here's why. Okay, so first off, Rick's ability to avoid fight out zombies obviously is is fantastic. Okay, it's it's you know one of the best out of any of them, if not the best. Um, his ability to find food and necessities uh, is good. You know, he was on his own for a while there till he found the rest of the group, and he did just fine by himself, completely by himself, and traveling that distance is uh, you know pretty impressive. Um, where he lacks is his ability to survive other people. He just he's too nice to other people. He's too um, you know. He's just he's just way too, he's way too nice to other people, you know, giving away guns and uh, just people he doesn't know, and he's too trusting, and that's why he's put at number three instead of being higher. It's just because he's too trusting of other people, and in addition to that, he also is um, the type of person who goes out of his way and kind of puts himself in jeopardy sometimes to do things, like when he went back in to try to save Merle. You know, he should have pretty much never done that. That's for sure. Um, you know, and, and he's done a lot of other things, too. It's just he's kind of like a man on a mission. Once he gets something in his mind, he's stubborn, he wants to do it, he goes through with it. But is it the best decision for him in order for him to survive? Probably not. So that's why he's at number three. Number two is going to be Shane. Um, yeah, he's higher than Rick on the list. Um, his ability to fight off and avoid zombies is as good as anybody else's. Um, probably just as good as, as Rick's. Um, maybe almost as good. I mean, I don't know. It's hard to say. Probably just as good, I'd say, pretty much. Um, his ability to find food necessity he is pretty smart and he thinks about survival a lot which is why he's number two and you know that definitely helps out a lot when your mind is focused on it you know you're going to be right there when it comes to making the right decisions uh, the only thing and the reason why he's not uh, number one is because he's a hothead so he gets uh, you know hot-headed a lot of times and he does things that like for example opening up the barn that you know really is that a good decision to make it's not it's not a good decision so he's a hothead that's why you know he's going to be a number two instead of number one um his ability to survive other people is is excellent he's not too trusting uh he's not very nice to other people and for example with the situation with otis he'll do what he has to do and he'll be the one to use other people when you know it needs to happen shoot them do whatever you know what whatever he has to do um to survive and uh, that's why even though it's it ethically it's it's kind of sad he he'll do anything to survive it's anything he really can to other people he doesn't care about anybody except for his small group that he's with and that's really it um, anybody else like you know Dale or you know Herschel or these other people he doesn't he doesn't care he doesn't give you know two shits about him he just keeps him around to survive and that's it if um, if they come in between him and survival he's gonna take survival every time and do whatever he needs to do um, and then obviously he doesn't seem somebody who's uh, suicidal. He never he ne he's never indicated that. He's never seemed like that. He's very selfish 
and he's very self-preserving. Um, so he's not, you know, he's not the type of person that you would have to think of as, uh, you know, losing the will to live and doing that or anything like that. So the second best survivor on the list is going to be Shane. There's no question about it. Now, number one, who could number one be if, uh, if Shane and Rick are two and three? Uh, number one is going to be Daryl. Daryl is, uh, in my opinion, the best survivor out of anybody uh, on the show. Uh, and he is that because he has the ability to go off on his own and not only fight off zombies, uh, which he's done on many occasions, um, you know, not only um, be able to, you know, work with other people decently well to the point where it's like he, you know, he, sometimes he, he does some stupid things, but for the most part, he, uh, you know, he's, he's not too nice to others, that's for sure. Like when Rick gave out those guns, Daryl's like, those guns are more valuable than gold. What are you doing, basically, right? So he's not too nice like Rick is. Um, do I think you do the same thing as Shane? No, but I kind of think that Daryl is tougher. You know what I mean? If his leg was bent like that, you know, I'd almost think that he'd be able to, you know, get all the way back with a broken leg, you know, all the way and, you know, get away from those zombies if need be. Because that's just how tough the guy is. You know, he'll just take it and go. Okay. And then, you know, finally, you know, he he has the ability to, to you know, get food a lot easier than anybody else. You know, he'll just go hunting. Like, he'll go in the woods for a couple hours or a day, and he'll come back with, like, you know, 20, like 20 squirrels or something, or 30 squirrels, um, or, you know, whatever. Like, he can catch food, and then, of course, he, he can go find food, um, and he's very independent in that way, which is what makes him, I, I think, the, uh, the most valuable, pretty much, or the best survivor, you know, out of anybody on the entire show. Um, and he's kind of in between Shane and Rick in the way that he deals with other people. He's not, you know, like, totally careless like Shane is. But at the same time, he's, you know, he's, uh, he's not as nice as Rick is. So he's, he's, you know, good in the middle there. And he doesn't, you know, r show any signs that he's suicidal in any way. He's very, you know, uh, he seems to care about himself quite a bit and want to survive. He fights for survival. You know, when that zombie was uh, gnawing on his foot there and he was hurt, you know, he, he uh, you know, he didn't just let him get bit, you know, himself get bit. He, he, he fought and, uh, and his will to fight is, uh, you know, as, as big as anybody else's. There's no question about it. So, um, we'll go over the list again one more time. Number five, Andrea, uh, fifth best survivor. Number four, Glenn, fourth best survivor. Number three, Rick, the third best survivor. Number two, Shane, second best survivor. And number one, Daryl for the best survivor in the Walking Dead TV show. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any other suggestions, please let me know. Uh, I'm going to keep trying to make Walking Dead videos as long as I have ideas for decent videos to make. That's it, guys. Later. See you.